Maptitude for Redistricting works the way you work, has the features you need, is easy to learn and use, and is 100% reliable. This video demonstrates the steps to create a redistricting plan, verify the plan integrity, print a district map, and create reports about the plan. The Plan Manager serves as your redistricting control center. Use it to organize plans, create any number of plan types, and save them as plan templates. To create a new plan, click New, then choose whether to create the districts interactively with a map or from a district table, district layer, template, point layer, or plan. In this demo, I'm going to create the districts interactively so I can go ahead and click Next. I'll choose one of the hierarchical maps included with Maptitude for Redistricting and click Open. When you create a plan in Maptitude for Redistricting, you will designate a base layer for your plan, the population or other field to use to balance the districts, the number of districts, and compute the ideal value for each district. Click this button to add additional summary fields to the plan. You can include any number of data fields, and, if necessary, you can set the correct denominator for any summary fields. For example, to get the correct percentages for the age 18 plus fields, you would want to divide by the 18 plus voting age population. Here you can add additional information such as the plan type, administrator, and other comments. Finally, enter a name for the file to which you will save the plan. Once you've specified the plan settings, you're ready to start redistricting. At the top of the screen is the district's data view containing information about the control field and summary fields for each district. Since I have not yet created any districts, the data view has only one row, and that lists the values for the unassigned features. The redistricting toolbox contains the tools that you will use to add and modify districts. And the Pending Changes data view displays the changes to the control and summary fields as you select areas with the tools in the redistricting toolbox. So, for example, I could start creating a new district by choosing New District as the target, and then use the Selection layer to select the Base Layer Census Block features that I want to be in the new district. The Pending Changes data view shows the changes to the districts as you choose geographic features. So for example, here's the population of my district so far, and the percent deviation from the ideal value. Continue to add features until the ideal value is reached. When you get close, you may want to zoom in and add features at a smaller geographic level, such as voting districts, tracks, block groups, or even individual blocks. Once you have selected the features to be added to the target district, you can save the changes and create the district. I missed this one block, so I'll go ahead and select it and save the change to add it to my District 1. I'll click this button to show the entire district in the map. Notice that the map shows the boundary of the new district, the label shows the district name and percent deviation, and the district's data view now shows the values for all the summary fields in that district. Create additional new districts by choosing New District as the target, choosing Unassigned Blocks as the source, and using the selection tools to select the features to add until your plan is complete. When your plan is complete, you can have Maptitude for Redistricting checked for errors. For example, by choosing Redistricting, Plan Integrity, Find Unassigned Areas, Maptitude for Redistricting will find any unassigned areas and let you zoom to problem areas. These blocks need to be assigned to a district. 
Choose which target district the block should belong to. Select them and save the changes. And you can see that if I rerun the test, there are no longer any unassigned areas. I can also run a test for non-contiguous areas by choosing Redistricting, Plan Integrity, Find Non-Contiguous Areas. Click on the smaller area and zoom to it. This portion of District 7 is not contiguous with the rest of the district, so I will move it to District 8. And again, if I refresh, you can see there are no longer any non-contiguous districts. Once your plan is complete, you can create layouts of the districts. These layouts can be printed on any installed printer. You can also create many reports about the plan, such as population summaries, measures of compactness, and partisan competitiveness reports. For example, here is a population summary report for my districts. And here is a Measures of Compactness report for my districts. To learn more about Maptitude for redistricting, please visit www.redistricting.com or www.caliper.com or contact Caliper Sales at 617-527-4700.